हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला नाउ वील स्टडी द डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज यू नो दैट एवरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट हैज सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स वन इज स्टैटिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड वन इज डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो वॉट इज डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स बिहेवियर बिट्वीन द टाइम एंड इनपुट क्वांटिटी चेंजेस इट्स वैल्यू एंड द टाइम वेन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट आउटपुट अटेन्स अ स्टडी वैल्यू सो यू नो दैट एनी इंस्ट्रूमेंट वी गिव इनपुट ओके सो दैट इनपुट क्वांटिटी इज चेंजिंग इट्स वैल्यू मीन्स इट इज चेंजिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम इफ इनपुट इज चेंजिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट शोज यू आउटपुट ओके सो वेन दैट आउटपुट अटेन्स अ स्टडी वैल्यू ओके दैट रिलेशनशिप इज कॉल्ड एज डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो इन सिंपल फॉर्म आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इफ यू गिव इनपुट विच इज वेरिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टाइम देन यूर आउटपुट गेट्स स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू ओके दैट टाइम इज कॉल्ड एज डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ओके सो हियर आई विल अंडरलाइन द सेम थिंग सो सो डिस्क्राइब्स बिहेवियर बिटवीन द टाइम बिटवीन द टाइम एंड इनपुट क्वांटिटी चेंजेस इट्स वैल्यू सो दिस इज इनपुट एंड द टाइम वेन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट आउटपुट अटेन्स अ स्टडी वैल्यू ओके सो दिस दिस बिहेवियर इज कॉल्ड एज डायनामिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ओके सो वेन दीज आर यूजफुल दीज आर यूजफुल वेन द इनपुट सिग्नल इज rapidly varying it is used to study performance under transient conditions transient conditions means what when input is varying with respect to time okay so that performance also can be studied so in general both static and dynamic characteristics are important to characterize a given instrument so both characteristics are very important static and dynamic for static characteristics you see my video i have prepared separate video for static characteristics also okay so ordinary linear differential equation with constant coefficient is the most widely used mathematical model to study dynamic response in the form so what is used we use linear differential equations okay so linear differential equations are used most of the times okay with constant coefficients so such a mathematical model is used to describe dynamic response okay so usually linear time invariant systems are used linear time invariant systems are used for describing the behavior of dynamic characteristics of instruments okay so linear time invariant system means what you can see the form of input and output here shown in this box okay so here this is differential equation so here in this diagram in this box so q o is nothing but q o here everywhere q o o is written that is output quantity okay and here q i is written q i that is input quantity okay so q i is measured input quantity and q 0 is the output reading and this a and b values are constants a n a n minus 1 a 1 a 0 b m b m minus 1 b 1 b 0 these are all constants okay so like this the linear transient system can be written okay so if we want to find out transfer function of this equation then we have to collect input and output terms on one side for that purpose we have to take laplace transform okay so here laplace transform of above equation is taken so after laplace transform we get equation as an into s raised to n s raised to n minus 1 a1 s q0 s okay so like this so laplace transform of derivative suppose derivative is d raised to n q upon dt raised to n okay so its laplace transform is what s raised to n q of s okay so here n derivative is there n order derivative so that's why here you should have s raised to n okay if here it is n minus 1 then here it should be s raised to n minus 1 okay so like this you remember the laplace transform of derivative okay and now here 
the ratio of q0 of s divided by qi of s that is output upon input is called as transfer function that is h of s and the ratio is something like this okay so this equation is called as so whatever this equation is there in this box okay this is the transfer function of the lti system okay now we'll study what factor should be considered in dynamic characteristics the factors are response time we have to consider then dynamic error then lag then step response ramp response standard signals are there overshoot dynamic error okay so like this there are many factors are there that we have to consider in dynamic characteristics so let's discuss these factors one by one so what is response time okay response time is what here definition is written so definition is it can be defined as the time which passes after a sudden change in the measured quantity until the instrument gives us different reading from the true value okay so in short what is the response time so when input changes the time required to show output that is called as response time means how suddenly this system responds or how suddenly the instrument responds that is called as response time okay so this definition you understand suppose there is one quantity is there so instrument is showing that quantity reading that is suppose true value is there that reading is showing on the output okay so suppose this input changes then what time is required for change in this output quantity okay so that is called as response time time required to change in the output okay response time now similarly there is one definition is there speed of response so what is speed of response it is defined as rapidity of the measurement system that responds to the changes in measuring variable so suppose input variable that is measuring variable is changing fastly then the ability of system to respond to that input changes okay that is called as speed of response so speed of response should be always high as input changes output should also change with that speed okay so this is the required property of measurement system speed of response now next is dynamic error so what is dynamic error a dynamic error is a difference between the true value changing with time to the actual value shown by the instrument over time it is also called as measurement error so suppose the input value that is actual value is changing with respect to time then output should also change with respect to time okay but sometimes there is difference between actual and measured value okay so that difference is called as dynamic error because this why it is called as dynamic because the error is changing with respect to time okay so such a error is called as dynamic error it is also called as measurement error okay so input is varying with respect to time output is also varying with respect to time but there is difference in reading that's why it is called as dynamic error now next we'll study lag so what is lag it is the time to respond to that particular instrument when we change the input this time it's called as lag suppose we are changing input and instrument is showing some lag or sh showing some time period to respond okay that is called as lag so lags are of two types first type is retardation lags retardation lags okay so that means when we change the major quantity the instrument also changes its value in faster way okay suppose we change major quantity at the time what happens instrument also changes its value in faster way very fastly okay that is called as retardation lags and what is time delay lag time delay lag means the instrument changes its value after some time even when the measured quantity changes means suppose measured quantity changes input changes but output is not showing its value immediately it it is taking some time delay that is called as time delay lag okay so like this there are two lags are available retardation lags and time delay lag 
now what is step response okay so when the measuring instrument measures the one steady state value to another steady state value the in between response time between these two values is called as step response okay so what is written here when measuring instrument measures one steady state value to another steady state value so you understand here there is step value is there means from one step value to another step value the time required between these two steps is called as step response okay so here graph is shown something like this output versus time on y axis output is shown output change and on x axis time is shown so from 0 up to this 95 percent so this is one step this is one step and this is second step okay so the time required between these two steps is called as step response so this is called as 95 percent response time to achieve 95 percent output value that is called as 95 percent response time and this is called as 10 to 90 percent rise time okay to rise the output time required is called as rise time so like this it is called as step response now similarly ramp response is also available so what is ramp response in ramp response the value of response time in between two response changes very slowly with time so the time varies very slowly with time here it is written very slowly with time between two responses means one response and another response one and two the changes are very slowly with respect to time okay that is called as ramp response so here also you check the graph so here input temperature is shown by this line input temperature okay and output temperature is something something like this okay so there is dynamic error available along x axis also along y axis also so you check here dynamic error at temperature t1 and dynamic error at time t2 okay so y axis is temperature on x axis it is time so that error is called as dynamic error between input and output okay so here output varies very slowly with respect to time okay that's why the error is called as ramp error ramp error or it is called as ramp response now sometimes standard signals are used so what is written here it is very hard for us to know the types of signals easily as a signal is random in nature many signals are random in nature okay so for study the dynamic characteristics of signal some signal equation is developed and those are so we use some standard signal which signals have some standard equations okay for studying characteristics so like this ramp input is available step input parabolic input impulse input so these are some standard signals are available which we can study characteristics very easily okay now we'll study another definition that is overshoot so in an instrument in an instrument the moving index indicator also has some mass due to having mass it has some inertia too okay so when we give the input to the instrument it deflects from its zero position to some sort of reading position however due to inertia initially the pointer moves beyond of the reading this is called as overshoot okay so uh, overshoot occurs because of inertia of the indicator suppose there is one indicator is available okay like this pointer is available so pointer had some mass okay due to mass it had some inertia also so when that indicator moves okay when indicator moves it moves beyond its actual value okay for some time period okay that is called as overshoot because of its inertia and after some time it again comes to its original position okay so all this happens because of inertia because that indicator had some mass okay so that's why it is called as overshoot however the galvanometer type instrument had some minimal overshoot so galvanometer type instruments have minimum overshoot because of less weight of the indicators okay so this definition is called as overshoot again we got dynamic error definition so it is the difference between the true value to the indicated value given by the instrument if we don't consider any static error so we do not consider here static error okay 
we are considering here dynamic the values which which are changing with respect to time okay so we have to consider here dynamic error and that difference is called as dynamic error between true value and indicated value okay so like this dynamic error is defined so all the definitions we have seen now all have time is constant here okay they are varying with respect to time that's why all this comes under characteristics of dynamic characteristics now this definition is fidelity so what is fidelity fidelity means it is the ability of the system to reproduce the output the same as the input suppose we are giving input to any instrument then the ability of that instrument to reproduce the output the same as input okay that is called as fidelity means input and output are same almost okay so that is called as fidelity so